Story number one that I thought was interesting, right? <laughs> Such an absolutely hilarious headline and something that I kind of thought, you know what, this might explain something else. So there's this pretty ludicrous, ludicrous, ludicrous article that came out recently um, about this. So the headline reads there from Business Insider. An anti-gay Hungarian politician has resigned after being caught by the police fleeing a 25-man orgy through a window. Listen. An anti-gay Hungarian politician has resigned after being caught by the police fleeing a 25-man orgy through a window. That is absolutely insane, right? But I was thinking that headline might explain why some of us have a bit of an aversion or a negative reaction to people who virtue signal, work signal religious signaling whatever they do right when they're kind of o overtly trying to tell you how much of a good person they are through the deeds that they're doing or they're overtly against one person's way of living their or one group of people's way of living their lives or they have very odd strong views about certain success of society in general i think we are predisposed to kind of look at these people a bit out of the corner of our eye and be like hmm you there's something not quite genuine about you there's something um that doesn't really add up there's something that i'm not quite reading right and i'm going to hopefully over time you're going to reveal yourself that's what you'd hope some people are you know are flipping um psychotic in that regard and able to sort of like live double lives and you can just never find out but for the most part how many times has that headline um happened or come to light or you know you've seen somewhere in some way shape or form especially within religious circles it seems to be the more uh the more against you are the more yeah the more you are forcefully against lgbtq rights in general there's usually because you have your own skeletons in a closet and it's interesting just from a sort of like psychological point of view why a person who's clearly closeted in their own sexuality tends to occupy positions that marginalize the very people that you are kind of from the very community you're from why does that tend to happen interesting isn't it it's like um you know some areas especially in the united states where they have the most draconian laws concerning you know um african-american people and latino people usually are occupied by people from that same community who are kind of extra harsh to the, you know, their own sort of like brothers and sisters i wonder why that happens i really do it's very very interesting that, that seems to be a recurring theme in these sort of issues but just ahead the fact that this guy like again it's all well and good you know fair enough you get outed because you have a secret lover on the side or something but a 20 it's, it's never it's never something small it's never like oh he was spotted liking a double tapping a picture of a very well-known prominent gay um you know adult film star or something no it's always the absolute end of it it's always like oh this you know governor from the states i remember this one article about a sims governor somewhere who supposedly was against lgbtq rights or whatever state he was from and then he got you know busted essentially um, you know, engaging in some sort of sexual act with a flipping sex worker in his office after hours, right? And it was like, it's never something small. It's never like a little thing, like a double tapping a picture or, you know, being seen at a club somewhere. It's always the flipping most, agree it's always the most like extreme <laughs> version of that lifestyle that they're doing. And usually that probably has to do with the fact that you're kind of suppressing it for so long isn't it it's only so much like it's only so much of your apps actual identity that you can actually hide um day to day until it kind of just overloads and bursts out do you know what i mean in, in no in no pun intended in that regard but god almighty man what an absolutely hilarious and also quite disheartening story considering because i'm um, you know imagine if he's got a family at home having to discover all this but hey what can you do so the article says, following Hungarian MEP admits he was at a lockdown orgy, right? This is the whole article here from Politico. It says the following, a senior MEP member of parliament, I'm assuming, and Hungary's ruling uh, Fidesz party admitted Tuesday that he took part in a lockdown party, quote unquote, described by local media as an orgy that was broken up by the Brussels police. Joseph, um, sat, having pronounced his name, Joseph, let's say, Sajjer, yes, I'm assuming the S is silent. Zajer, Zajer said in a statement that he was present at the private party at which, according to Belgian press, police found 25 naked men, including an MEP and a number of diplomats. 
I love how he keeps referring it to the uh, uh, private party, right? According to the press release from, well, I guess it was, but he's trying to just make it sound as if like, you know, there was old doves and a couple of flutes, you know, being passed around when in fact it was loads of flipping ripped up naked gay men, you know, probably having the time of their lives in a really swanky apartment somewhere in the middle of Brussels. Just imagine what that apartment must have looked like in Brussels. Just imagine Anyway, according to the press release from the Public Prosecution Office, a passerby reported to the police that he had seen a man fleeing along the gutter um, and he was able to identify the man. The man's hands were bloody. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's possible that he may have been injured. Okay, while fleeing. Narcotics were found in his backpack. Duh. The man was unable to produce any identity identity documents. He was escorted to the place of residence where he identified himself as sj by means of democratic passport um Sajja said police gave him an official verbal warning and took him home he said he had not taken drugs and added that he was sorry and that he deeply regretted breaking covid restrictions you get caught at a gay orgy in brussels and the first thing you're worried about is the drug taking now again it makes sense because he's from hungary right and if you know anything about the you know the lgbtq rights in hungary you know they're not the best so uh, i'll assume the quite puritanical overly conservative christian um you know lifestyle or christian you know way of living that they have there in hungary probably doesn't necessarily lend itself that well to excuses of taking drugs with you know naked men all over the place and recently i think they passed a really crazy law where they basically put into um legislation that only heterosexual couples in hungary are able to adopt kids which essentially rules out um gay couples or people from the lgbtq community from adopting children it also recognizes that uh, parents can only be male and female like loads of really um um clever uses of wording and stuff to kind of essentially um segregate and sort of push out one segment of your community of all of your population because you don't agree with their way of life or with their sexual orientation which is you know disgusting and deplorable to say the least so you can understand why he'd be very concerned with making sure everyone knows that hey i wasn't there Oh no, it's making sure everyone's saying he's sorry for being at the par- at a private party. He's still not admitting what he was doing there. And also he's very worried about the drugs aspect of it. But, you know, we, we, will, we would assume a 25-man party in a, in a lofty, in a swanky apartment somewhere in the middle of Brussels is definitely going to involve some substances, right? Maybe all of them. Maybe all. <laughs> He says he was it was irresponsible on my part and I'm ready to stand for the fine that occurs. Fine, he says, you know, he got he's not got a job made fine. The Hungarian, a long serving member of the Prime Minister's Victor Orban's party, resigned as an MEP on Sunday. He said in a statement Tuesday that his misstep misstep was strictly personal and added, I see ask everyone not to extend it to my homeland or to my political community. Also, I guess he went, okay, so he went to another country, he said, look, don't, it doesn't matter. I, I'm, I'm assuming Belgium doesn't have that much of an issue with it. Hence why he got off with a warning. Imagine if he would have got caught at a gay orgy in Hungary. God almighty. An official close to the investigation said officers were um, called after a legal complaint for nighttime disturbances were lodged about a lockdown party in an apartment on Friday night in the centre of Brussels. Belgium announced a second lockdown last month with a curfew in place and gatherings of more than four people not allowed. I want, It's always interesting, isn't it, that to me that in a more, the more I think we've seen it with Rita Ora recently, the more affluent area you're in, the more likely of your, 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 the more likely it is that you're going to get fobbed in by your neighbours really in it which is weird considering that you would assume most people who have means to flout the rules would flout the rules which they obviously are doing in these covid times but they're also very likely to call the police and let them know hey my neighbor's having a party blah 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 but in the let's say more uh run down communities or places that are sort of you know um stricken by poverty they don't seem to really give a shit everyone minds their business you know if you're having your party have your party I'm, i don't give a shit just don't come into my house asking for a glass of water do you know what i mean um and it continues here Belgium announced a second lockdown da, da, da. uh Sajje is a member of the fides who helped uh, craft the country's constitution. He served as the head of the Fidesz delegation in the European Parliament um, and is a member of the Assembly of Foreign Affairs. The Hungarian government has cracked down on LGBTQ rights and last week, along with Poland, voiced strong opposition to a gender equality plan from the EU foreign policy that seeks to better bolster sorry, women's and girls' LGBTQ rights worldwide by challenging gender norms and stereotypes. In a statement, the Fidesz delegation in the European Parliament said that Sajja had made a 
right decision when he resigned. He said he made the only right decision. He acknowledged his decision, just as we acknowledge that he has apologized to his family, his political community, and to the vote. So he does have a family. Jesus, yeah, that's when it, that, that's when it's not really that funny in it. When obviously there's a huge part of himself, or I'd guess part of his identity, that he's having to sort of suppress, and in a country that doesn't probably allow him to live freely. And of course, um, inadvertently, he's held, hurting not only his fellow countrymen and people that, you know, work in his party that he's sort of, you know, embarrassing in public, but also most importantly, or more importantly, his family and his children, or whatever, maybe extended family, who are having to sort of like find out the deepest, darkest secrets of somebody you hold in high regard in the press this way. And it's never, never, it's never a good situation, which is why, really, you know, you should be trying to live your best life as much as possible because, hey, we have a very short time on this earth. The last thing you should be doing is running around hiding in mansions in Brussels somewhere. Um, you should be, you know, embracing exactly who you are and fighting for the people that and fighting for the very same people that you're kind of trying to imp oppress. But hey, I guess we all can't be perfect individuals.